The year is ending, but there's a lot of viewers who still doesn't know how to set up this thing. Today I'll show you the quickest way to do this nonsense. I made an effort to do this. Is English language for all of my viewers there, including Filipino viewers? I'm showing you this item called M3 Converter. This converts touches from your mouse and keyboard. I've made plenty of videos on my channel to showcase this bad boy. Here is my M1 Pro, and this is the cheapest and most popular video on my channel. Speaking of popular, this video right here is around 100k views and counting. Let's make another history using this video, shall we? Moving on, download the Kugamer app using the link I will provide below. There's tons of version in the link, but the best one is not the latest. Reason being is the manufacturer keeps on uploading new app. However, they do remove one feature and add it in the next version. Just download the version 5.02 and you're safe for the next 100 years. Install the app and let's manage the cables. This free cable in the box should be plugged into this Android emoji carved in the plastic. This is Type-C to Type-C cable. Plug this in the other end to your device. Please note that we are in wired mode as you can use this through Bluetooth as well. This blue light is not blinking, meaning we are connected properly. For your mouse and keyboard, plug it in correctly, because if you're dumb enough to not see this carved logos, please kill yourself. You can use 2.4 GHz dongles for your wireless mouse or keyboard. Here I'm doing hybrid mouse as dongle and keyboard as wired. Open the Kugamer app. This notification will always be showing which indicates we are going in the correct path of life. That's it. How easy it is to reply to your comment than making this video. Hit that subscribe button for more videos like this and don't forget to like this if it helps. We are not done yet as this is the ultimate newbie tutorial. Once you open the app, it looks like this. Go to the settings and toggle all these things you are seeing in the screen. Now change the mode to USB wired mode. Go back in the menu and toggle this. This pop-up means any screen recorder will not work along with AI functionality of recognizing the guns from PUBG. Open the game you prefer after you have added it in any available slots in the right side. Use training mode to customize the controls and preset. Choose the third option here. If you wanted to copy my custom controls, you can screenshot or pause the video while you can. Now here is my preset that you can use. Now for the yellow colors here is the configuration. For purple colors here is the configuration. After setup, we can now test this in the game and we could make little to no adjustments from here. For sensitivity, you have to adjust all scopes from 2x to 6x for 30% only. From here, we can start playing the game. Now I know some of you will experience problems not mentioned in the early part of the video. For people who had connectivity issues with their mouse and keyboard, you can try activating the app first. You can watch this video for tutorial. Another issue is getting stuck in viewing angles which happens in your mouse. Again, you can try and watch the video showing in the screen. Those are most known issues I've noticed through the comments section. Now the biggest question in this video, am I going to be banned? Of course you will, as this is not the usual way to play FPS games. Disclaimer, try this at your own risk. The manufacturer will never ever back you up in taking your account back, and I cannot guarantee anything from here. As of today, I am able to play PUBG with other users and has no hints of reports. Are we all good now? Or you still have questions on mind? Feel free to message me on Facebook or comment down below. That's all for today. Cheers!